Hi everyone, this video walks through completing Packet Tracer Assignment 1.4.7, Configuring Router Interfaces. This Packet Tracer Assignment is a part of the Switching, Routing, and Wireless Essentials Version 7 Cisco Network and Academy curriculum. So in this lab, you'll notice on our network topology that we've got uh, four different local area networks. Two local area networks are connected off of each router, and I'm just going to kind of draw a box around each one of them. You don't have to do this, but I'm just going to show you kind of what constitutes each local area network. So that would be here, including that interface on uh, R1, S1, and PC1. Let's do another color here. Let's do blue for the bottom left of R1 all right so that is that interface in the bottom left there of R1 uh, SW2 and PC2 let's uh, choose green for the upper right hand <laughs> one over here connected to R2 one other thing you'll notice is this one is using IP version 6 for that one and uh, let's choose purple here for the next one. All right. So again, uh, each one of these networks are completely separate. Also, you got two wide area networks here on either side of um, R1 and R2, these are separate wide area networks that are connected to some stuff in here in the internet. Usually those internet clouds just mean there's some connectivity and configuration already going on that we don't have to mess with. Um, on the left side here, again, everything is using IP version 4. Uh, don't forget how these networks are divided up. So this slash 30, remember, is a subnet mask of 255.255.255.252. That means there's only four addresses between dot 224 to dot 227 so it'd be 224 225 226 and 227 but the only usable ones because you can't use the first and you can't use the last are 225 and probably 226 over here is being used all right up here same thing for this slash 25 uh subnet mask here all right and remember this is all for ip version 4. ip version 6 is a little bit different um the lowest subnet in ip version 6 has almost uh 10,000 hosts in it so um again you don't really have to worry about subnetting these but they've already included that subnet mask there for you so let's configure these interfaces here so this can work properly um let's see if pc1 has any in, okay, we need to configure the IP addressing on PC1. So PC1 here would be 172.16.20.10. My subnet mask here when you hit tab is incorrect for this. So we need to do 255.255.255. This is a slash 25. So a slash 25 would be .128 here on the end. Now, the default gateway, remember, so we're looking at PC1 to S1 to R1. This is that LAN we're looking at, this local area network. So the default gateway would actually be right here on R1, this interface, which happens to be G00. So that IP address is going to be the default gateway to PC1, which is 172.16.20.1, and you see that matches here and here, right? So again, 172.16.20.1. All right, and then we can just exit out and it will automatically save that in there for us. Remember, the reason this is called the default gateway is because this is its way of leaving this box. Nothing can leave this box without contacting the default gateway. So think about if you were in a room and PC1 and S1 were in there and you needed to leave that room to go anywhere. If there was a person standing by the door to let you out that door, you would have to contact them um, to be able to leave that room. So you have to contact this default gateway every single time to leave this, this red box here if you want to go to the blue Blue box network, the green box over here, the purple box, or anywhere else. You have to contact this 
default gateway and you have to know how to get there so you have to have the ip address that will be shared with everybody in that red box network so anybody um, in this red box if you added more hosts in there more pcs more switches anything it will all have this one default gateway which is g00 on r1 okay so let's also go over here to r1 and configure g00 so i'm going to type in my password of cisco hit enter do enable password of class c-l-a-s-s -S, all lowercase you hit enter and we're going to go into configuration mode so what we're going to do is we're going to type in our command to go to that interface and configure it which is interface g00 that's the interface name for right here on my router and i'm going to hit enter and i'm going to do ip add or ip address 172.16.20.1 and I'm going to get that from right here in my network addressing table. And my subnet mask also needs to go here, which is 255.255.255.128. Don't use the slash notation. The slash notation is there for you, slash 25, but you need to use .128. And we hit enter. Now we also have to turn this interface on with no shutdown or no shut, and it will turn it on. Okay. You can also set a description here. I often like to do that. So you could put a like description connection to SW1, right? Um, something there to make sure that you know when just going to your router, what is that connected to at all? Okay. So that's how we would configure that interface and you see it now turn to green so they should be able to talk to each other between pc1 and r1 and we'll test all that connectivity once we get everything done in a minute all right so now let's go to pc2 and configure its ip addressing so pc2 we have 172 and i'm just getting this straight from my addressing table 172.16.20.138 and its subnet mask again is 255.255.255.128 because it's also using a slash 25 but the default gateway is different right in this blue box network here pc2 is going to be contacting g01 on r1 g01 on r1 if you look at your address and table is 172.16.20.129 now remember when you're assigning these addresses you still need to look at the first and last uh, where it starts and ends so that these over these networks cannot overlap between like the red box and the blue box they can't overlap um, and you can't use the first and last address of either of them the network or the broadcast you can use everything in between though all right so now that we've got that we can go over here to r1 and configure g01 so we'll do interface g01 ip add or ip address 172.16.20.129 again i'm getting this straight from my network address and tabling your directions 255.255.255.128 we'll set a description connection to sw2 and we'll do no shut down all right so that turns it on Okay, and you see it green. Green is good. That means the link is on and operational, but it doesn't necessarily mean we have everything configured correctly. But again, we'll test it out in just a minute. But we can go ahead and test out from PC1 to PC2 to see if that works. So we could open up a command prompt from PC1 and do ping, and let's ping the IP address of PC2, which is 172.16.20.138. You hit enter. And let's see what we get in return. The first one, the request timed out, oftentimes that happens and that's okay, but you see we get good three replies the next one. We could hit the up arrow and retry that command and all four are successful. You could also try going back the opposite direction and pinging from PC2 to PC1. So if we go to command prompt on PC2 and do ping and we're going to type in the IP address of PC1 this time, and you see we get four successful replies here as well. So everything is configured correctly on 
R1, as well as these two LANs in general, PC2, SW2, R1, SW1, and PC1. Now, we can't go over here and contact PC3 and PC4 yet because we don't have these configured. But let's go ahead and configure those as well. Now, remember, this is IP version 6, so it's a little bit different. So configuring IP version 6, the default gateways, the LANs, and everything work pretty much the same, but we're not configuring it up here in IP version 4 addressing. We're configuring it down here in IP version 6 addressing. So the IP version 6 address for PC3, if you look at your network addressing table, is 2001 colon DB8 colon C0DE colon 12 colon colon a all right that's the address now you notice it has the forward slash 64 for the uh subnet mask but you need to put that over here not here you put that over here. this slash is already there okay the default gateway we set fe80 colon colon 2 all right, and all that saves automatically for us. You can also uh, go over here and copy and paste this because these addresses are a little bit longer. You highlight it, do control C, can't right click because it won't come up, but do control C and then control V over here just to make sure you've got it entered correctly. Doesn't matter if you use lowercase or uppercase letters, it will correct itself and make them uppercase. So we can close that out. And then we'll go to uh, R2 here. Now let's go ahead and tackle. This interface is G00 as well. I know that G01 is kind of overlapping, but that's the one that is connected to SW3. I believe that's G00 on R2 for the upside that, and that's G01. So it's G00 connected to the green box LAN up there connected to SW3. So password is Cisco, enable, password is class, and then we can get in configuration mode. So we're going to do interface G00. And again, this one is, you can set a description, connection to SW3. And then we're going to do, instead of IP add, we're going to do IPv6 add. All right. And then we're going to configure it straight from our addressing table up there. Um, again, it is 2001 colon DB8 colon C0DE colon 12 colon colon one all right and then if you hit up a, a uh, question mark then you'll notice it wants that forward slash 64 right up on the address here okay and then again it wants your whoops it wants your link uh you can set that but you don't have to but again you'll notice here that's pretty much it. So it wants the forward slash 64 there. You hit enter and no shutdown to turn that on. All right. So again, IPv6 add, not IP add, IPv6 add. You put the IP version 6 address and then no spaces, forward slash and the subnet mask in slash notation, which is slash 64, and then no shutdown. All right. We'll come back to R2 to do the bottom one. Let's go ahead and set PC4's IP address. Again, we're down here in the IPv6 part, and we're going to do 2001 colon DB8 colon C0DE colon 13 colon colon A. It is a forward slash 64. The default gateway is FE80 colon colon 2. <coughs> All right, and that automatically saves in there for us, so we can close that out. Then we're going to go up to R2, and this time we're configuring interface G01 that goes down to SW4. So we'll put description, connection to SW4. Then we'll do IPv6 add uh, 2001 colon DB8 colon C0DE colon 13 colon colon 1 forward slash 64 we'll hit enter and no shutdown all right now that gives us 100 percent in the lab but let's make sure everything works okay so just because you have green lights doesn't mean everything works so if you go to pc3 and you type in go to the command prompt so right here we're going to ping 
from PC3 to PC4. So I'm going to type in ping and then the IP version 6 address this time of PC4. C0DE colon 12 colon colon A. We hit enter and we are, oh, I'm sorry. I typed in the address for PC3. So it should be 13 right here for PC4. And I still get a good reply. So that means PC3 is talking to PC4. And then you can try the reverse. Go to PC4 and do ping uh, 2001 colon DB8 colon C0DE colon 12 colon colon a this is pinging from pc4 to pc3 you hit enter and we get four good replies